pigeon stretch. So we're gonna find ourselves into a plank position to begin. It's gonna be the easiest way to get into your pigeon. So find your full plank, and you're gonna bring right leg forward, so right knee to right elbow, cross your ankle so your toes are pointed towards your left wrist, and then drop yourself down onto the back knee and onto that front leg. Now before you do anything else, before, because I know naturally we all just like to drop to our chest, before you get there, I want you to make sure your hips are square. Because you can see right now, I'm quite hyperextended to my low back, which means my hips probably aren't where they need to be. So what we're gonna do is scissoring action of the inner thighs to straighten out the hips before you lower down so your pelvis is stable and it's equal and balanced both across both sides. So what you're gonna do is squeeze the inner thighs, lift yourself up off the ground, and lower back down. We're gonna do that three times. So big inhale, squeeze, 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 lift yourself off the ground, lower back down. One more time, big squeeze, lower back down. Now check your hips. Do you need to pull that other hip forward? Maybe that's where you're at today. And then find wherever feels good for you. If it feels good to stay here and maybe even rock it out side to side, go for it, stay there. If it feels good for you to come down to your elbows, fabulous, same thing. But then I want you to find that length of your spine so that you're not just collapsing in, not able to breathe. Because if you can't breathe, your muscles are gonna suffer, right? And if you feel really, really good, you might extend your arms all the way forward, allowing your forehead to rest down to the board of the floor. The bigger you go does not mean it's better. It's just a different stretch based off of what your flexibility is. If you are in this stretch and it doesn't feel the best, as in it doesn't feel like it's enough for you, the goal is that eventually this front leg will be parallel while still keeping your hips square. So try to get your foot just a little bit further ahead so that you can get a little bit of that deeper stretch out of your glute here before you try to advance by adding in extra stuff to it, okay? Now to get out of this stretch, what we're gonna do is roll out onto that outside of your hip, and then you can sweep your other leg forward, and we can come into your pigeon the exact same way we just left it, or you can come in from your plank again. So rolling over to the other side, you're gonna do the exact same thing of the scissoring action of your inner thighs, pull together to lift yourself off the floor, drop back down, up, down, square the pelvis, and then find what feels good for you in this position.